Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Thursday, the first day of December. Here we go. Today's halacha is about pas haba bekisnin. Let me explain what that is. Everybody knows that when you eat bread, you make a hamotzi lachamina aretz, and then you say benching at the end of that meal. When you eat cake, you say a borimini mazonos at the beginning of the cake, and then you uh, say an al hamichya after you've eaten a good amount of the cake, or pretzels, or cookies, or whatever. Pas Habab Kisnin is a little bit unusual. What it literally means is something like pocket bread, and uh, it's not clear in the Code of Jewish Law exactly what that is. It could have been like a kind of bread type of material that was folded over and stuffed, kind of like a stuffed pizza. Um, it may have been something like a knish, it may have been something like a cracker. We don't exactly know what Pas Habab Kisnin is. The, the rule, but here's where it's going to be important to us, the rule for Pas Habab Kisnin, whenever you eat this kind of pocket bread, bread that's almost cake kind of stuff, the halacha is that you make a Borimine Muzonos before it, an Al Hamichya after it, unless you eat enough of it to be called a meal, and then you make a Hamotzi before it, and you bench at the end of it. Well, bottom line is that the rabbis all pretty much say that we have to assume that pizza might fall under the category of pasaba bekisnin. It's not exactly bread, and it's not exactly cake. It's something like a bread type of dough that has uh, toppings and cheese, and we all know what pizza is. So therefore, halachically, pizza falls under the possible category of pasaba bekisnin, and therefore, the proper bracha for it, if you're ever eating a kind of enough that it's a meal would be hamotzi at the beginning of that pizza and benching at the end of eating that pizza. That's what the halacha seems to say because again pizza might fall under the category of pas habava kisnin or pocket bread therefore it will get the pocket bread halacha which is borimini mazonos before it al hamichia after it if you ate a small amount and hamotzi and before it and benching after it if you ate a meal amount. What is a meal amount of pizza? Well, that's the million dollar question. Some rabbis say it's about one slice, some say it's about two slices. So you should speak to your rabbi and ask, what should I do if I ever have pizza as a meal? And what if I'm only having one slice, what should I do? To be safe, what some rabbis will tell you is if you're having pizza, Take a piece of bread, make a hamotzi on the bread because your meal might need a hamotzi because you're settling down to have a pizza meal. And if you have bread at the beginning, then you'll be certain. But most rabbis will tell you that if you're having two slices of bread, then it's kind of likely that you will have to make hamotzi before it and bench after it. But please check with your rabbi. Some of these laws change depending on what your rabbi's opinion follows and also whether you're Ashkenaz or Sfarad and all those things. But at least now you're educated on it and you know how to ask the question before proceeding on a pizza meal. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.